Mountain Dew and welcome to the Geek Lab. And this time, today, we have our first ever drone to review. This is many thanks to TRND Labs who sent me this for an honest appraisal review of what it's like. These things uh, retail for £103 at the time of recording, but with this video and the codes below, you can get 15% off this should you like it. So let's have a look what you're going to get and let's start with the obvious, the box. So on the front, it gives us some very uh, very basic information. You actually see the machine itself and it sits inside its controller. Won't talk too much about that because we'll see that in a moment. Uh, you, if you can't fly these things, don't know how to fly, there's even a link here to the academy where you can go watch videos on how to fly it. Gives you some symbol, giving some idea of its functionality. I uh, won't spend too much time on that at the moment because we'll go through that. Uh, auto take off and land, which is good. Altitude hold, HD camera, I believe it's 720p, uh, 360 degree flips, and a 50 meter range. That's 50 meters you can fly out from the transmitter. There we go. Thanks to the Play Store and the Apple Store because you can run this uh, via an app on your phone which allows you to see what it can see and fly it using your phone, or you can fly it using the controller, and you can get a VR headset, which I'll show you in a moment, because they very kindly sent me that too. So, let's waste no more time and get in the box itself. And the first thing you're presented with, do do do, is plastic cover. No, you are presented with the drone itself, sitting there very nicely, in its controller so you can actually take this stick it in a bag take it around with you and it's nice and safe and very portable and don't worry this controller's not as small as it looks <laughs> it extends and just to let your technical know I'll go to upside down it's held that way there you go when it's in flight we'll show you more about that in a moment also in the box comes this I'll explain this in a moment uh, in here, under this pad, it comes with a spare set of blades, which is handy. And, just look under here. This is the equivalent of training wheels on a bike when you first learn. This actually fits over the drone and protects the blades while you learn to fly. Obviously you don't need it when you're uh, more advanced, but if you're going to fly this indoors in a smaller space, I still suggest you put this on. Also in the box is this lovely little charging lead. No, I say lovely. Don't usually say that about a charging lead, but this one's got a light in it. It's a little red light that comes on when it's charging. It goes off when it's done. It is proprietary, so if you lose this, you will have to buy another one. Because uh, you can't get generic ones. These are about uh, £7.50 off the website to buy. So not too much. Uh, the blades are about the same price as well. For two sets at the time of filming. Uh, this little tool. This cage usually comes in this bag that I've been flying this around. So this little tool is used for removing the blades. Should you break one and need to replace it. Also in the bottom is the manual. Which we'll look at in a second. A nice little. Thank you for choosing TRND Labs product. Not nice. Have a nice day. And ideas on how to contact them if you have any problems. Uh, and a little more advice on this academy where you can watch videos and learn how to safely fly your drone. So let's put this away and have a look first of all at the user manual. Right, and here's our user manual. You can see from the outset, it is a quality production. Got your Academy link there again. And it talks you through the controller in a very logical way. So it's got this nice diagram to go through each section. And then complete diagrams, no problems there. Uh, you know, I had a few problems at first understanding where the controls were. Uh, and this explained it. And once you get used to it, it's become second thought, so it's not a problem. And it talks about the uh, the software as well, and any issues at the back. So with this and the uh, links to talk to them, 
you've got it all covered. Right, let's look at the drone. Right, the handset and drone itself. And as you can see, the drone sits very securely in the middle of the handset. I'll just extend the handset out. And if we just remove the drone from its little case, press there, not there. And you can see, it sits securely inside there. There is no charging facility for it in there. It would be nice if there was a little way for it to charge off the uh, handset's batteries while it's in there. But maybe for future design. So take that out and let's have a look at the drone itself. And you'll notice, first of all, it's very tiny. Uh, this is complete with a HD camera. So there's the HD camera at the front. And at the side, we've got the uh, power port for charging and the on off switch and work way around nothing special there uh, when you switch it on you'll notice doo -doo -doo, a little light comes on the bottom and then these lights flash around the side those are the LEDs they will stabilize once it's got the handset the handset's not on the moment so it can't do that uh, but you can see at the front you've got blue and at the back you've got black uh, black you've got red so this allows you to see the orientation of the drone uh, as it flies and this is very effective at night obviously uh, switch this off and let's have a look at the handset itself now it is not uh, just your basic plastic this is a rubberized white plastic obviously it's white and obviously that sits under the cover there your run off switch is there I'll show you what to do with that in a moment on the left hand side you've got your throttle so up and down and if you turn it left or right or left uh, it will rotate the drone through the y-axis uh, this one mode allows you to switch the controls so you could actually in theory use it that way Ta -da! Yep, it, it puts the controls backwards so there you go uh, if you press this down this gives you three different I'll switch it on so you can hear it if you press that down just sync it if you press that down, you'll hear beeps. Two beeps there, three beeps there, and one beep there. That gives you different levels of sensitivity in reaction to the controllers. So if you go it on three, it will react really well to the controller inputs and go flying around fast. If you're just learning, you put it on one, and it will react nice and slow. On the right thumbstick, you've got the controls for flying it right, left, obviously forwards, and backwards. And pressing this button uh, activates the auto takeoff, which is very handy. You'll see in the video. And this one does the auto land. You don't have to land or take this off yourself. It will do everything for you in that regards, which is very nice. If you press this one down, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow. Uh, you press that down and then you press one of the directions and it will actually do a 360 degree flip in that direction so you go right left forwards or backwards so let me show you how to sync this up first right to sync the device all we do switch this bugger on see the little light come on and then start rapidly flashing lift this up press this blink, okay, beep press forward press back and when the lights stabilize, the drone, the drone is synced. There we go, and it takes a few seconds. You can see the lens there reflecting. There we go. Now you can control this either from this controller or from your phone. So let's have a look at the software that runs on your phone. And before we look at the app, I'd just like to mention that uh, to mount your mobile phone to this controller, you just slip this thing in there and then your phone just goes in there easy this pushes up to adjust easy easy right and here is the software itself which when connected will show you the view of the drone uh, in the background there but let's have a look at the basic controls this one up here will allow you to take off automatically the drone this one allows you to automatically land the drone here you've got your throttle obviously and your rotate through the y-axis controls here is your forwards backwards right and left controls these things down the bottom here that you won't see what you don't see on the uh, controller are the trim controls so if it's rotating slightly to the right you can press this one 
and trim it to the left to stop that rotation. Obviously, if it's drifting forwards, you can press this one and trim it backwards to stop that. So I'm going to get the top row. The first button will take a picture. The second one will uh, start the video recording. The third one, obviously, uh, will show you pictures you've taken or videos you've taken. The fourth one is the response control as we saw on the controller this controls how responsive the drone is to your input commands this one in the middle allows you to rotate your phone to control the drone itself so as i there you go move my thing the drone responds appropriately uh, this one allows you to either control the screen or if you switch that off, you now control using the controller instead of your screen. That's the way I usually fly this one. This one here will reverse the controls. So forwards is backwards, backwards is forwards, so on. This one is the calibration button. If you're having trouble uh, the drone flying all over the place, put it on the floor, reset it, reconnect, and press this one to manually tell it to calibrate again. Uh, this one allows the VR view, so if you're using the VR headset, which I'll show you in a second, you can uh, use that to control it. This one allows you to do the 360 degree flips. Excellent, which you'll see in the video in a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at the VR headset itself. Right, and first of all, I have to say it does come in this very plain, but in its own way, attractive little box. Ooh, and this is... Ooh, yeah. Uh, and you could say, well, it's just another headset. This one's about £12, uh, but it does have some advantages. Uh, it's a standard fair inside, but it's all well made. It's got the logo on the front. Uh, and the strap that holds it to your head is actually rather comfortable on this. You've got good ventilation, so you do, it tends not to steam up like some others. And unlike others that are around this price range, You've got both flexibility that way and you can focus them individually. And you can see there's attention to detail because the lenses come with little plastic covers to protect them. A lot of uh, headsets in this price range don't. And the other big difference which does it for me is this pad. This faux leather pad is very comfortable and because of this big space inside, if your glasses wear it, this one works so i can actually recommend this headset uh, if you just want a vr headset on its own it's good to buy even if you're not buying the drone so i can recommend that one there you go that's a bit of you
Right, so that's the Skeen Nano 2. Uh, a very good little drone. And what do I think of it? Well, yep, it's excellent for learning to fly. It's got loads of little functions. It's not the cheapest drone on the market, but you do get what you pay for. And this has a lot of functionality that the cheaper just drones just won't give you. Plus, it's bloody well made. So if you're interested in one of these, we've got 15% off for you until 21st of April, 2017, uh, available from the Amazon links below. And if you like reviews like this or any sort of retro technology, computing or retro gaming, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we have me social media links down below. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, then there's a Patreon link down below. Just arranged to me to say thank you very much for watching. And if you buy one, then please let me know. And I hope you enjoy as much as I have. And thank you to TRND Labs for sending me this brilliant little drone. Thank you very How much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>